This is a review of the Audio Technica ATR2100 dynamic cardioid microphone. Now this microphone has both XLR and USB outputs. Before we talk about the microphone itself, it's essential to talk about who might find such a microphone useful. Now a lot of people who do vocals, voiceovers, podcasts or YouTube videos appreciate the functionality of being able to plug a microphone into a computer via the USB port. However, they also appreciate the functionality of being able to plug in the same microphone to a camcorder, a public address system, or a mixer via the XLR cable. The ATR2100 combines both these functionalities in an extremely inexpensive package. So let's take a look at the microphone itself. Up here, you have a LED indicator that burns blue when connected in the USB mode, it does not light up in the XLR mode. You have an on-off button to turn the microphone on and off. On the bottom of the microphone are the connections. Now you'll see a male XLR connection, you'll see a mini USB connection, you'll see a 3.5 millimeter jack so you can plug in your headphones and monitor what you're recording. You also have the volume control for your headphones down here. The body of the microphone is made from die-cast aluminum and the grill on top is a steel mesh. What you get when you buy the microphone is a female to male XLR cable to connect the microphone to a mixer, a camcorder or a public address system. You also get a mini to regular sized USB cable to connect the microphone to your computer. You also get a rather portable and very handy tabletop mic stand for the ATR2100. The included mic stand gives you a wide range of recording angles thanks to its flexible head. It's also pretty sturdy for an out of the box tabletop mic stand. The bottom of the mic stand actually unscrews and what this allows you to do is it allows you to mount the microphone to any standard mic stand through the 5 8 inch thread at the bottom of this flex head fitting. An essential accessory that is not included with the ATR2100 is this foam windscreen. Now this inexpensive windscreen fits over the microphone's recording head and what this does is it prevents spit and other disturbances from affecting the quality of your recording. Another accessory you might need is a female XLR to male 3.5 millimeter cable. Now what this cable allows you to do is it allows you to connect the ATR2100 to a camcorder or other device that only has a 3.5 millimeter audio input. Connecting the microphone to a computer is really easy. All you have to do is take the provided USB cable, take the mini USB end and plug it into the bottom of the microphone and then the other end goes into your computer's USB port and now the blue indicator will light up and this tells you that the microphone is connected to your computer. The microphone's user manual also gives you some really easy directions on how to configure the microphone for different versions of Windows and for the Mac. When recording with this microphone, it's recommended that you use a recording software such as Audacity. Now, Audacity is free software that is available for both the Mac and PC, and it gives you functionality such as the ability to choose your input source, set your input level, and several other really useful post-production features. To show you the recording quality of the ATR2100 when connected via USB to a computer, I'm going to read you one of my favorite passages which happens to be from an old Apple ad. So here it goes. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them about the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things, they push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Here's the recording quality from the ATR2100 when connected via the XLR cable 
Now I'm going to read you the same paragraph from Apple again, just to show you how it sounds. So here it goes. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things, they push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. As you could probably tell, the ATR2100 sounds marginally better in the USB mode than in the XLR mode. In fact, in the USB mode, it sounds more like a condenser cardioid microphone, and this makes it better for things such as voiceovers or podcasts. Overall, we think the ATR2100 from Audio-Technica is a great mic for beginners. It produces really good recording quality, has both XLR and USB output. It also has the ability to monitor what you're recording as you record it. And it does all this at an extremely reasonable price point. If you found this review useful, please subscribe to our channel for more reviews of microphones and other tech products. The link to this product is also in the description section below and thank you very much for watching.